Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on my Skyopolis world. This is uh, episode four, I believe, and we're uh, going to start in right away uh, from what we did last time. We Last time, if you remember, we were in the Undergarden. I'm going to go back to the quest here to look at it. We did the Undergarden. We did the Exploration tab. This had a lot of the things uh, that we needed and resources we needed to get from the Undergarden. And so now we're trying to go into and try to work on these here. This is Refining, which has a bunch of different quests. A lot of this deals with making some things with smelteries. And then we're going to make the Undergarden Enriching Water, which makes lots of different resources. Okay, so uh, let's start going on refining right now. And let's see about getting some of these resources really quick. Um, we have Glitter Kelp, which can make kelp. And we have Pumpkin Seeds, which makes pumpkin and other things. So let's try to do uh, this side over here first. And then we'll work on going through the whole smeltery thing. So to get kelp, again, this one is just organic seeds. We need a bunch of these organic seeds. It takes uh, saplings and it takes leaves. So let's go over to the uh, plant area. It's over this way. And let's get a, uh, let's get a stack of uh, leaves and a stack of saplings. Uh, did I take all the saplings? There wasn't even a stack. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so can I get that out of there? Oh, it's too quick. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Okay, so let's take out the uh, this stuff right here, and let's uh, take out the axe so it won't harvest. I wonder if there's anything in the hopper. There's a bunch of sticks. Let's take out that. Let's put this back, and let's put that in there. I really should lock that up, right? Yes, I should. I might have some saplings over here. I have a few. We don't need a lot of this resource, really, so let's get some of the uh, seeds. I think it was like this, wasn't it? Or was it the other way around? There we go. Got some organic seeds, and let's just go ahead and put put those back. All right, we uh, had a little 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 uh, side thing there. Anyway, let's go over here. I have some of the kelp that I found. Where did I put it? Right here. Here is the uh, glitter kelp. This is found in the waters of the undergarden, and we just take that and we'll make right there. We'll make a kelp. Now I'm not sure if we'll make a farm to grow that, but that just gets us the quest to get pumpkin seeds. Let's go on to this. Pumpkin seeds is the melon that we found in a, that uh, uh, organic seed. So where are the melons? I know I saw them. There's a melon. Okay. And we'll get that, that done. And there is a pumpkin seed. And we need to grow a pumpkin. So let's um, grab a hoe. Do I have a hoe somewhere? I think I do. Let's go find it. Again, my inventory is getting... Was the comma? Will that work as a hoe? I don't remember. I, I don't know. We're going to take a look. Um, but it's just taking a little bit of time here. So let's see. Let's go like this. Nope, nope. Doesn't work, does it? Nope. Okay, well, let's just get rid of one of these. And we'll we'll put it right here. <laughs> okay. And we'll give it a chance to grow. All right. So that should get us the pumpkin eventually. Now we're going to work on getting the mushrooms. Now, the, get the mushrooms. You go with a brown mushroom. Takes any of the other mushrooms and an organic seed to make a brown mushroom. I'm going to want to make two of those. So let's see here. We have um, some indigo mushrooms. Let's take a couple of these and some seeds, and we'll do that. So let's take two of those. And oh, that's interesting. It makes blue dye. And we got two brown mushrooms, and I believe you take a brown mushroom and you put a seed in here, it makes the red mushroom. So there, now we have both mushroom types. That's excellent. Okay, let's keep on going here. So we're waiting on the pumpkin to grow. I wonder if we can uh, uh, twerk to get that. Um, let's see here. Dirt is basically says here deep soil can be converted to dirt when thrown into a water block. Do we even have a water block yet? Um, well, that means I've got to make up a water source, an infinite water source. We can do that in a minute. And then we have to make the smart shoot, which is two regalium and a shoot. Well, we did get some regalium. We didn't get a lot. We got very little, but we need to make a smart shoot. So let's see here. Let's make a let's make a shoot and make it a smart shoot. That should be a shoot. There we go. We have a smart shoot. Okay. Uh, let me get all the quests that we just did here. There we go. And we got a bunch of uh, these things. Let's turn that in. Let's see. Can we twerk here for the pumpkin? We're going to look at that. Looks like you can. But it's not growing a pumpkin. Let's see. I wonder if we have to put it like maybe in the center here. I don't know. I'm trying to clear stuff out. Ugh, grow a pumpkin. Can I bone meal that? Was that help? 
Let's just see if that works here. No, you can't bone meal that. Okay, so uh, we're just going to have to wait for a pumpkin. I might have to change this up so that maybe it moves to some, another location. So let me uh, see if we can get that pumpkin grown. I just finished making up this infinite water source by taking some of the water that was over at the uh, filters and putting them over here, the strainers, I mean. And then I fill, filled the strainers back up, and this pumpkin grew. Yay! Okay, so we're going to get that right now, and uh, that should give us the pumpkin quest. That's excellent. So that's good. Now, we want to make a melon. A melon is just uh, a pumpkin with the organic seeds, so we can just put that really quick here. And that gives us a melon. Now, we got to get the melon seeds. So uh, we just got to harvest that, right? Is that how you do it? I can't remember. <laughs> it's vanilla, and I can't remember things. Right there, we got the melon, and I think we do it like that to get the seed. Right, okay. And I do have a hoe here, so I'm going to do that and put the melon down right there. And that should give us some melons here in a second. But we got that quest as well. Okay, so the next thing is a snow golem spawn egg. To make this, it looks like you have to take a pumpkin and put some of the mob essence around it. I have some of that, so that should be easy to do in a second. So um, I think all that's left is this dirt we need to do, which is dropping some of the deep soil into water, which now I have water. So let's uh, just throw this out here. And there we are, we get dirt, and that quest is completed as well. And that opened up this filter here, I believe. So what's the filter does can be applied to whatever. We need two andesite alloy and a piece of wool. So for the wool, we need some string. Um, I don't remember if I have enough here. Let's see if I can get some of that. We can just get some string, I believe, by just going like this. There we go. And then for the uh, thing here, let's get this. Where is my... Oh, I got to make the wool first, right? Green wool will be fine. There we go. Some wool. And there we have a filter. Excellent. Okay, so I think... We're getting close. I just got to wait for another pumpkin to go. Oh, there is a pumpkin right there. <laughs> Excellent. Good timing on that pumpkin. Thank you, pumpkin. And we got to see if we have the basic essence here. We should have four. I'm looking for that in there. I don't see it in there. Um, I don't see it in there. Oh, we don't have any. Of the, I have two basic essences. We have to get two more. So I have to wait for some mobs to kill, and we'll get that. And then we can make the snow golem egg. All right, we're going to start working on this side, which has to do a lot with the new smeltery things. Now, the goal here is to get the undergarden enriching water. So if you look at this over here in this recipe, I already have it like uh, bookmarked. To make this in the smeltery, which we will make eventually, we're going to need mushroom stew, which is a liquid, virulent mix, which is liquid, and molten clay, which is liquid. And I've bookmarked those as well. And, of course, we also need lava so there's a lot of but things here that we need to do so what we need to make here is a little system where we can get all those resources now i could put this all and just do it automatically in the smeltery but i'm going to do it a different way and i saw this when i was watching a video by system collapse that had four of the mini smelters then he just took the tanks over to the big smelter so we're going to make four of the mini smelters now i've got a lot of the clay here or uh, sorry seared bricks and some glass so we want to make basically the mini smelters so we're, first of all, we're going to make the melter. Um, if you remember, we had this as the seared heater. This is for the solid fuel. And we needed four of those. We need to make four of the melters, which takes the ingot gauge here. We need four ingot gauges like that. And then we'll make the melters here. And that gives us the, the portions we need. We're going to need some drains here. Let's see. We got faucets, I mean. we got to, Let's get two of those. And we're going to need more of the uh, tanks. So uh, let's see if I can get make some more of the seared fuel tanks. We'll probably need four of these. And we have already, I have resources here for getting uh, the hoppers and the out input uh, to that system. Okay, so let me go get some fuel for these. I need to have some charcoal. And I've been getting this uh, together with this little system, so that's good. I think I've got another stack in here because we'll need four stacks. That is enough of a stack. Okay, great. So let's build this up. So we're going to have uh, a space in the back. So I want to put, uh, let's see, let's do it right here. We're going to put down, first of all, the heaters, which go right here. And let's uh, fill them up uh, with the resource we need for fuel. Okay. And that works out great. Now, in front of those, we're going to be having the uh, seared tanks or the fuel tanks. That's excellent. That's where we're going to be pouring that out into those. We're going to have the melters on top of the of the heaters. 
Great. And we're going to have the faucets into each of those. So there we go. Now, what is going into this? Well, we're going to have a bunch of hoppers, one for each of the types. There we go. And then we're going to set up the chests on top. They're single chests, and that should be just about ready for the system. Now, what you can do is you can put a block on top of this with a uh, lever so that you can tell it to dispense or not. Like that. And uh, here we go. So, excellent. Okay, so that's the typical setup we want for this so that we can get different fuel sources into here. So let's start to look at what we need for this. Um, we're going to have to make this first, and then we're going to have to make each of these buckets. But really, we can just look at this right now. Uh, so let's see what we have. So to make mushroom stew, uh, basically you've got to melt either the mushroom balls or mushrooms that are coming from over from the other world. You get a lot more from the mushroom balls, and so I'm going to grab those that I have. Uh, we can do whatever we need. They give you a little bit more, and I know we have that, and we have a way to make slime. So where are the mushroom balls? There's three of those. And so I'm going to put those in uh, this uh, chest right here. And you can see they start to go in there. And in just a second, we will pour that out. Okay, so what about the virulent mix? The very virulent mix is just deep rock pebbles, depth rock pebbles. And I believe we can make that from uh, the deep the depth rock. Let me see here. Is there a way to do that? Um, I thought that there was. Yes, yeah, so you get four per thing in the stone cutter. So let's just do that real quick. And we'll go to the stone cutter and put it in here and find the de depth rock. There we got a bunch of that. And um, I need to get get in here. So <laughs> this is one problem with my design here. It's just, It takes me a second to get in here. But I'm going to put this in the second chest. I might as well just put them all in there so we get a bunch of that resource. Okay, and uh, we're going to... Let that cook down. That'll make the virulent mix. Okay, so let's uh, hit this. You can see it's pouring into that tank, which is excellent. And this is making the mix, and we'll pour that into that tank. That's excellent. Okay, we need to get um, lava, and lava is made from uh, those red shards. So we're going to get a bunch of those. I have a bunch already. I don't have a lot, but I have some. So let me uh, take about half the stack, and we'll put that in the next thing right here. Actually, I'm going to put them in the end because I think I want this one to be lava. There we go. And then we need uh, clay, I believe. Let's see here. Let's go look at this mess this again. Molten clay is by blocks of clay, and we have blocks of clay. So let's go over here to our other system, and we'll just uh, we'll get that. Here it is. Uh, we got a stack of clay. Excellent. And so now this system is going to be producing all of the liquids that we need uh, for making the underwater undergarden mix, right? So I need to get up in there again. I gotta find a better way to do this. And uh, there we go, okay. So let's turn those on. And you can see we're getting the liquids that we need. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's get into building this big smeltery. Of course, we need to make the smeltery controller, which takes a seared melter with some of the depth rock pebbles. So we gotta make that up. Uh, I think I have some stuff to do that on me. I think I do. So let's make uh, the melter, which takes the ingot gauge. We'll make one of those. Then we'll make the melter. And then we can make uh, the this right here. It takes eight of those, I believe, which is making the smeltery controller. That's excellent. We need to make another tank because we're going to be using the tank in the design. So let's get up the uh, seared tank. And it is, I'm looking for it over here. It's hard to see sometimes. Right there. We have a tank. And then we need to make the channel, which is a longer thing. I won't really use this, but we need to make it for the quest. And there we go. So you can see we have those three right there. We get all those resources. Wow, we get a lot of books and things and some more sky bucks. Excellent. Okay, we're going to go over here and build this. So the typical design, I've already put some of the bricks down here. But typically, you would take the bricks and wrap it around. I usually go double high, two layers high. And the first layer I always have is just always the bricks. So we're just going to put that around here. And then we're going to go around this way. And I'm going to put the uh, tank here, and I'm going to put the drain here. And then in between these two, I'm going to put the smeltery controller, okay? So we need a tank. It's like, hey, you need a tank. I need to make a drain too, so we'll make that in just a second. Here's the tank. And uh, we'll make a drain. 
Uh, we need the seared drain, right? Yes, and we need two of the Ethereum crystals for that. Let's go and get that. I, hopefully I can make those. I believe I have enough for that. 27, I think we need 18 for this. I think it's just like this. That's one and two. And that'll give us the seared drain like that. Okay, whoop, don't go out there. I'll sleep in just a second. And there we go. Now we have a system that works. And I can put on this, I can put on the faucets here. Let's put one here. Oop, not there. There. <laughs> and one above it. And then we can put a table down. We can put a uh, basin down. And we have the basic setup for the system. Now, again, we have no more fuel, but we are getting lava. So I think we're good to go. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to turn these off right now. We're not dispensing anything. And I'm going to take this, which is the lava tank. And you can see uh, it gives me the lava tank. And I can go in here and put it in here and put it on here. And now this is fully fueled. It's ready to go. So we can do whatever we want with it. And I can put this back down here. Now we want to get these other resources. These are the three buckets or tanks. And I believe we can take each of these and just go into here to the drain and added the mix. So you can see we added the, the virulent mix. We can add in the clay. And we can add in the mushroom stew. Just like that. Excellent. So we got the three resources there. And we got to get some uh, buckets of water. So uh, I'm going to take one of these. I can put some of these tanks back, of course. But I'm going to take one tank and go get some water from over here. And we can stick it into... Uh, I'll probably only need one bucket, really. Because I think we need uh, 100 uh, millibuckets. Up. So we'll just grab one for now and see if this works. But we should be able to uh, start this up and get the undergarden water that we need okay so let's see what we do here put that in there okay and this should mix down and you can see we got two buckets right here of under garden enriching water excellent let's put this other tank over here and we can start these back up and if they're able to they will work see we're out of resources on those but that's okay so let's go back to the quest here now, i believe all of these are just you know check mark the quest and we know we've made that type of stuff we've made this okay we have made this which is uh Mushroom balls we've already had. Um, oh, do I have to have that in my in my inventory? Oh, are you kidding me? So it takes... If you pour this out into a thing, it makes it... Okay, well, let's just make a mushroom ball here. Mushroom stew. That's the bottom one. We're going to pour it out. Should just make a bowl of it for us really quick. Get the ball. Okay. And that gives us that quest. That was funny. Okay. So we're down to the point where we have undergarden enriching water. And to make this, we just have to pour out the undergarden enriching water uh, into this right here. And eventually, we'll make the shard. This does take a very long time to cool, but it will cool. And when it does, you can see it's almost getting kind of transparent. When it does, it will have the shard inside of this uh, basin. And there it is. And we're going to um, pick that up here. Okay, so we have that. So we have made the water and we have the crystal. And that is excellent right there. So let's grab that. Now, the quest wants us to go to the Forgotten Ingot Mesh. So there's ways to do this. You can make a string mesh and use Forgotten Nuggets, okay? Or you could just pour out the Undergarden one bucket worth into uh, the thing to make a mesh. So let's just do that right now. We have the one bucket. It's set. Let's pour it out. This should make one of those meshes, which is what we want to do uh, for this quest. It should cool pretty quickly, a lot faster than the, uh, the uh, Catalyst here. And there we go, we have that. And then all we need to do here is make the survivalist strainer, which is just using regalium. And guess what we don't have? We only have one regalium. So we're going to have to go and get more regalium for sure. So that's something I have to go back to uh, the undergarden to do. And I can do that in just a little bit off camera because that was kind of fun. And of course, I'll do that probably during my lunch break. Okay, so uh, we're going to go back into here and we're going to see about the uh, the enriching water here. We need to get this uh, catalyst, and it says it can be used to make undergarden materials. we got to see what we do. How do we use it? Okay, do we pour it into, into weak enriching water to make this? we got to make some more weak enriching water. Now, I only have one weak enriching water, but if we had a blank bucket, which we do have one, we can make a, another one of those. So let's go get that. All you remember, all you need to do is just you drop this in here. And it comes up with a bucket of what you want. I'm going to put that bucket in here. And then we're going to drop this in here. And now we have uh, the weak enriching water just like that. Okay. So why did it not give us this quest? I would have thought we had that. 
Hmm, that's interesting. I we had that quest. I got to make some more of that. I have to see what goes on, but uh, that's kind of weird. Let me take a look. All right, I realize what I did wrong here. So if you look at the quest for this, uh, this is in the uh, next tab here, the Undergarden Enriching Water Catalyst. To get this, you can hit this little thing and it shows you the dependencies and it says I have to do the blank nugget. Well, the blank nugget is on the previous page. It's right down here, which means I have to get the Survivalist Strainer so I can get a blank nugget, which means I need to go get Regalium. So I'm going to do that for a little bit and uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'm back from a little trip to the Undergarden, and you can see here I have about 10 Regalium Crystals. And I have one more, I think, still in the storage system, so we have a total of 11. I did make another one of these crystals. Uh, that's good. We'll have that when we get to that point. Um, I want to make, while we're here, I want to see if I can make another one of these uh, Forgotten Meshes. And I think all I need to do is, looks like I have everything else that I need except for some of the Virulent Mix. So I'm going to basically turn this off really quick and take this. And we're going to put that into the tank. Put this back and hopefully it has enough. Does it have enough? Yes, for one bucket. There we are. One bucket of undergarden enriching water. I'm going to pour that out here. This will make another one of these meshes. The reason why I'm doing this is because I really would like to have two of these things. Because um, uh, these produce the blank nuggets, so more is better. Uh, eventually we'll have the whole setup over there doing it. Um, okay, so we have both of these right here. We need to get uh, these some sticks, which I think I have over in this section right here, uh, where I put them. There's some sticks, and now we have to get the that mesh. So let's see here. We'll put the uh, this one is used with. Oh, it takes for gallium. Uh, yeah, Tinker. Remember what we're trying to do here, not sticks. Okay, so we have two of these meshes. That's great. And uh, we're going to bring them over into our system over here. Now, all of these have uh, have expired. There's nothing here anymore. So I'm just going to put, you can see there's nothing in there. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put one in here. And there we go. Now, this should be sending out all of those resources to uh, the storage system. Now, these meshes do have the ability to make, uh, let me see if I can put it right here. I'll show you. Um, they make the blank pebbles like we always have been getting and the blank dust, but also blank nuggets. So I need to put another storage drawer here. So let's go see about getting that. I was about to sleep when I heard a sheep. Look, we've got a sheep. That's awesome. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but we have a sheep. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make this uh, drawer here. We need to get some a chest. And then just take those two out there, and we have a storage drawer. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I just got to put it up here so it works. Um, let's put it side to the side here for now. And there are the blank nuggets right there. And uh, let me go get a drawer key and we'll lock that down. That way we won't have to worry about something happening with it. So let's find the drawer key that's there. Okay, and back across. Lock it down and then we can get the blank nugget and that will complete that quest. And all of those aren't locked either. Okay, and uh, let's grab that. We have a blank nugget. And there we go, chapter completed. So we finished up all of the refining quests. Let's grab all of those. And now we're basically in the Undergarden Enriching Water, and you can see we have this right here, which is the Undergarden Catalyst. Now we just gotta get a hold of all of these things. And then once we do that, we can get uh, the various resources. So like, uh, let's see, waste. Uh, let's get some waste. There, that's done. Like that. So let me go and, and grab most of those things here and see uh, what, what, where we're at. All right, we have these blank nuggets. Now, if you put them in these, this enriching water right here, you can see we get a bunch of different things from this. We get the coal, we get the etheric shards, we do get clogorum, clogrum, clogrum, yes. And I don't know why I got another chain. Oh, I got it from reward and the frost steel nuggets. If we look out here, we got everything but the uh, forgotten nuggets. And if we do this enough, we can then combine them to make these other resources. So I'm gonna wait just a little bit for the blank, uh, these things to get uh, more of these. We have none right now. And when we get enough of those, I'll put them in here, and then hopefully we can finish out this quest line. As you can see, I have been uh, gathering these basic uh, nuggets and making these various resources. So we should be able to take these and just go like this and make up the other type, and that's not how you do it. Ha! Let's try with this. I know we can do that really quick. That should get us one of the recipes. That's another one. So these are working. I'm not sure why the coal didn't work, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, hmm. So now... We have all this. Let's see. What? It, how is this? Oh, it's just around it. Okay, that works out really well, just like that. And now we have completed that chapter. 
Okay, let me get all of the resources here from that. There we go. So uh, we've done pretty much everything here in the Undergarden. This is pretty cool. We've done uh, exploration, refining, and Undergarden, enriching water. And again, there is CC3. This is just like we've done before. Gather lots of resources, and look at that. We get a looks like a diamond block. A shining block of diamond. Very nice. Now, before we go on, I want to do something really quick. Because remember, we skipped planes up here because of the fact that we didn't have iron. I did get a uh, membrane from a, um, uh, oh, what you call those things? I can't remember them. Phantoms. Yes, those things. I did get one of those, and I made that and already added it to the helicopter. So we're just missing this. And if you look at it, it really just takes iron. And I wanted to see if we can get that today as well. And to do that, it's pretty easy. You have to make strong, enriching water. And then you have iron nuggets which you get from if I believe is taking the uh, blank nuggets can get you iron nuggets or the clogram nuggets can also get you iron nuggets so we have a way to get iron pretty much right away we have to first of all make this uh, what you call it the strong enriching water catalyst which takes a water or aqua catalyst we have that some some of this is just waste and four blank nuggets so I know I need four blank nuggets I have 11 so far there we go we need four waste. And I have the aqua catalyst here. So we should have this uh, right away here. Where is the uh, waste? There it is. And now we have the strong enriching water. And now if I put this over here and drop it into the undergarden water, it turned to a gray color. Excellent. Okay. So that's done. We have that. Let's get those rewards. And now I just have to get some nuggets here and drop it in and get some iron. So uh, let me see here. We have nine nuggets. Let's see what we get here. This probably gets a little bit more uh, further into the next area. Here we go. And look at that. We got a bunch of things in here. And I don't even see any iron. Uh, but I did see some Clogram nuggets. Or whatever. Clogram? I can't say that. Anyway. That gives us some iron. So we have a way to get some iron. Let me get some more of this Clogram. And uh, see if we can get this one thing for the Plains quest. I've got a stack now. We get a lot from doing the exchange with the Plank Nuggets. Also, I had some Clogram uh, ore that I have smelted down the Inga. So we get a lot of this pretty quickly. I'm going to throw this in here. And it just gives you iron directly, making sure we have all of the iron. And it apparently gives us some tin as well. But now we should be able to, uh, with this, make up some ingots. There we go. We have ingots, and we got the acquiring hardware advancement. That's pretty cool. Uh, but now we just need a couple of gravel to make some flint with our little millstone and then we should have enough to make the flint and steels and then we should have enough to make the uh, uh whatchamacallit that we were trying to do here um here we go so well first of all do we have any flint in here no we don't okay well we'll go up there we'll pour this uh gravel in a little awkward to get around but put that in there there we go and because it's create it should just start spitting that out in just a second here there's one and it should be there's two excellent so we'll go over here we're going to make the flint and steel. It takes two iron. We have two flint and steels. Just like that. And I don't know why I can't hold this, but that's whatever. And then from there, we need to make for the plain armor. Uh, not plain armor. What was it called? The rocket booster. Okay, so let's do that really quick here. One, two, three, four. One flint. One flint. There is a rocket booster. And now we finished up that set quest series as well. I'm going to run over to the helicopter and I'm going to add it to this. So here we go. And wow, it tried to move it. I don't get that. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> oh, that's kind of crazy. It's got everything. It can float on water. It's got rocket boosters. It's armored. It's excellent. Okay. Looking at the quest, we've completed all of getting started. We've completed all of the advances right there. And uh, we've completed all of the Undergarden. So now, except for uh, CC3, I'll try to work on that in between episodes. The next episode, we're going to start in the basic tech. We're going to get some more of these resources. We're going to get some, some storage. Looks like some other things create ex extended crafting uh, lightning and CC4. So this will be kind of fun. This will probably be broken down into a few episodes, I would imagine. Uh, I'll see when I record it. But uh, we're already close to a lot of this. So this is kind of cool. Um, anyway, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. I love all the stuff that we're doing. The water mechanic is kind of cool, and I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.